Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I got a quick little video for y'all today. Offer up Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, let go flip game, man. It's so easy to make a little bit of extra bread on the side. I'm gonna show you guys a few things that you can flip. But also, it's funny because new people always ask what are the best products to flip? And I always tell them, so whatever you know the most about, like there's people, I went to eBay Open two years ago, this one dude was flipping bikes. Like you would buy bikes, fix them up, and then flip them for more. Uh, people flip cars, I'm sure you've heard of that. I would never sell a car in my life because I don't know that market. I don't wanna learn how to fix cars. I have no interest in that. Just, it does not sound appealing to me. So I'm gonna show you guys a few things that I flipped this last month. I posted a, a YouTube video about three weeks ago, going around to a bunch of places. We picked up that Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter, the Canon G7X Mark III. We got both of those, that was a crazy deal. We got both of those for 600 bucks. Both of them sold instantly, so we made about $500 profit on that. Uh, what else did I have from that video? I had a Sony, a little point and shoot camera, which was the first pick pickup. I believe we paid 100 or 150 bucks for that. Sold for 250 on Amazon. We had uh, a Sony a7 III that I picked up. I don't think that was in the video, but I picked this one up for a thousand bucks. Posted it back onto OfferUp for $1,300 and that sold locally, so $300 profit there. We had this was a crazy, crazy deal. And see, things like this is not necessarily what I would consider like a very good, like hot, super selling product. But the margins on this were great enough that I was like, okay, well, it's definitely worth it. I spent $350 on three of these. One of them already sold on Amazon for over $500. So we got our money back plus profit. I still have two left. That will be a little bit of a longer tail item, but easily on this deal, we're gonna make $1,200 alone. I've been posting voice recorders for the longest time. This one I found locally for $5 and the dude was like down the street from me. So I was like, whatever, uh, $5, this is going for, what model is this? I think this is like 130 bucks on Amazon. So I was crazy. Picked up this camera lens, a Sony 24 for $340, I believe. This will sell for about 550 on Amazon. And then this is like a little hidden tip that, you know, not a lot of people know about. Old film cameras, man. Like the old film camera market, I feel like in the last three or four years, a lot of like content creators are kind of getting into like shooting with film as like a hobby and just for fun. I don't really know what the deal is, but these cameras are amazing. 20 bucks on offer up and this will sell for over 100 on, or maybe it was like 90 bucks on Amazon realistically. But there's a lot of these, like there's a Canon AE-1. I'm gonna put out this model for y'all. Go look in your area, Canon AE-1. If it's in good condition, anything $100 and under, just buy it. Just buy it, take my word for it. It'll sell for 200 on Amazon. So those are some of the things that I sold last month. I feel like I had a few others, especially uh, from that video, but a ton of just different, you know, camera gear is just what I sell because it's what I know the most about. I've been doing it for like, I've been really focused on camera gear for like the last three years. And so over that time, I just learned the market more and more. Before that, keep in mind, the first like two years I was reselling, did not sell any camera equipment. I didn't want to put that much money towards something if I didn't know how to test it, right? And that's one of the reasons I like doing it. Now, if you still have no idea what to look for, how I found this was just searching generic terms. So if you use like new in box or never opened or sealed or brand new, brand new in box, combinations of that that would be in the listing description where the seller, like I'm pretty sure like I would never look up a Logitech security camera, right? Like I just never would do that. But I searched new in box and this dude had three of them new in box, right? And so the listing will come up if what you're searching is in the description. You can also just scroll through OfferUp. Just scroll, don't search anything and just compare prices to eBay sold listings. Filter sold listings to see what it's actually going for on eBay. That's what I used to do when I first started when I didn't know what to sell. Just scroll through everything. You come across something like this and it's like, oh my God, it's brand new. I don't know what that's worth. Guy has it listed for 20 bucks. It looks like it could be worth more than 20 bucks. Just check it on eBay, sold listings. If you just check sold listings, that's, that's the whole resale game right there. You scroll through OfferUp, compare everything to sold listings, you find a difference, you buy it, always negotiate no matter what. And even like, you gotta be reasonable sometimes with your low balls. So like, look, if some dude had a camera lens for 600 bucks, people want closer to market value for this kind of stuff. Cause this is gonna sell for sure. This is gonna take a lot longer. Like think about it like this. How many people are looking at a old outdated-ish discontinued Logitech security camera? 
Probably not many. And definitely not as many are looking for this lens. So if this dude, let's say he has it priced at 600 bucks, realistically, you know, you might be able to wiggle your way down to like 450. Bottom price, 500. If somebody has something posted like this, typically they have a little bit more room to work with. His asking price was 600 for three of these, offered him 350 and he accepted it without counter offering. So I probably would have went up to 400. Uh, camera gear, it's like some dude sent me this <laughs> post. He's seen this $1,100 lens and he offered the dude 250. Realistically speaking, you gotta be reasonable with your low ball offers, uh, especially with camera equipment. Usually with camera equipment, the best deals are the ones that are listed a little bit low asking price. Uh, chances are, you know, those people might be trying to quick sell their stuff and then you could just negotiate a little bit more, right? But really, you just have to get into it, man. If you're still completely lost, I'm starting a flip squad. I'm posting an entire list of everything I look out for. Plus, I'm going to be doing more research. I want to try to find a lot more brands that are unrestricted for newer sellers on Amazon. So I'm going to do a lot more deep diving into that side, posting flips. And also, I just honestly, I want to create a community of new people that could hold each other accountable because this shit is not as hard as it seems. Like if I go into your offer up right now, I could find something and all you need to do is just send them an offer, negotiate a little bit, go pick up and list on eBay. Like that's how simple it is. You don't have to sell. If you're buying popular stuff, you're buying this camera lens for a good price, you don't have to sell it, right? People are already looking for this lens. Sony has the brand established. You got to post it, just make it available for sale and people will come to you. So. Hopefully this video was helpful for beginners. Just something a little bit quick. Tomorrow, maybe Friday morning, maybe tomorrow afternoon, I'm gonna be heading down to San Diego. And we're gonna do a whole little flip video in there. I was supposed to go the other week, but I lost my wallet the day before I was supposed to go. So it ended up not happening. But that video is coming soon, I promise. Make sure to subscribe.